Hi guys, Fu here, and it's time for my favorite season of the year once again, Haunted House season. Now, Majinoni and I have sort of been on this journey to find what we think is the best haunted house in Arizona. Um, but we took a little time out from that and hit a haunted house while we were on vacation in Vegas. There were some attractions on the strip that we decided to pass up in favor of the Freakling Brothers uh, Trilogy of Terror. And I am glad we went here. This has to be my favorite haunted attraction of the year. It's a bit on the expensive side at $30 to get in, and then there's a $10 Fast Pass, which came with a really great t-shirt. So, um, normally I pass up the Fast Passes, but with the t-shirt I thought it was really well worth it. Um, this is located at 2321 North Rainbow Road Boulevard in Las Vegas, and freaklingbrothers.com is, or freaklingbros.com is their website. It features three mazes, Castle Vampire, um, Circus of Horrors, I think it is, and the Gates of Hell, which is R-rated, and you have to sign a waiver because they can touch you and curse at you and a whole bunch of things, which had me really excited. Um, they sort of have a great atmosphere in between all these mazes because they have sort of this freak show wrestling boxing thing going on that was really fun to watch. And um, the ticket takers were in these really great characters and got you psyched up for the maze before you even went in. You also saw the exit for the maze from the uh, line. So every time someone came screaming out of the end, I got more and more excited for this. We started out with Castle Vampire. Um, and another great thing about this is they let us go in as just a group of two. Some haunted houses don't like to put in small groups because it takes up too much time, but I think small groups are really great. This had a great setup and amazing scares, and it really screwed with your mind. There were doors you had to open, things you had to trigger within the room to sort of move on, and there was a really a, an excellent mirror room where I stopped for a minute and didn't know how I was going to get through this thing. I didn't know how to proceed or how to do anything, and they were really playing with my mind there, and they also scared the living daylights out of me. It has things coming from the floor, it has things coming from the ceiling, it has, it had werewolves that came at me chained to the wall, and it looked like he was really chained, he's struggling, and he scared the crap out of me initially, and then when we walked by, all of a sudden this guy's out of his chains and then out of his cage and coming at me, and I was gone to the other side of that wall as quickly as I could, and I have not gotten that good of a scare in a long time from a haunted house. It had a rope bridge that was really excellent. There was a part where you actually had to jump over sort of this cavern in the floor. There was a part where the ceiling collapses on top of you. It's great, amazing, perfect. Loved the acting, adored the makeup and costumes on everyone. Um, the lady who sort of gave you the intro to the whole maze was a perfect vampire. And I'm, honestly, vampires aren't that scary, but they did a great job. They played with light levels and making you not really know what was going to happen. There were a couple of spots where you're like, I know someone's jumping out of there. And then no one jumped out of there. They jumped out of something down here just to get you. Um, and then there's sort of a section you go into where you interact with this actor actress for a longer time. And she sort of prepares you for her master, who may let you live. And so, um, I think that's sort of a space device for the maze, but it was really great. She was super perfect and in character. And then you move through the final part of this maze, and there is a perfect scare at the end with the master vampire, which I'm not going to give away. Beautiful. It had me actually bolting out of the end of a maze in the first time in years. Bolting out of the end of that. Loved it. Loved scary vampires. I'm going to say, um, 13th floor has nicer looking sets overall. This had some stuff where you could tell some of it was fake, but overall, absolutely gorgeous. It really made me feel like I was in this vampire castle thing. Beautiful. Um, the second one was the circus that we went into. Again, it used some really great stuff. It had an intro room with some amazing actors. The, um, the actors taking your tickets were, again, really great. Got you psyched up for the maze. Overall, I'm not a fan of the circus one here. It's still really really a strong maze but I'm really done with the circus theme the uh, freak show entrance was really good they played with um, floor levels and sort of making you move in ways you don't want to move but the clowns aren't really scary to me so I felt this one wasn't the strongest there um, and then there was a mirror section where this guy you saw him from behind the mirror and then he came out at you and that was really great and um they had a similar situation where you came up to one area um, and an actor stopped and interacted with you for an extended period 
and then moved you in to see the beast. Um, and they made you get close to it, too, because he handed you food, and he said, you have to put this in his bucket or he's going to come for you. So there's this chained-up beast, and you have to get right there to give him his food. So it made me get closer than I wanted to to this guy. Um, the thing is, is this scare is sort of a really similar setup to the end of Castle Vampire, and it's going to be a similar setup to what we get in Gates of Hell. I think that's the only issue I have with all of these. They know, they have a, they have a formula here, and they know what to do. They know exactly how nice the maze has to be to get scares, but how much they can bring down production costs for themselves. And then they know how to scare you well, and they do it every time. My only issue is, is that ending's the same for every maze. Aside from that, beautiful. Gates of Hell. Oh, Gates of Hell. I was starting to wonder if we could handle this, because I kept seeing growing men. Grown men just running out of the end of this, screaming. So I was getting a little freaked out, and the ticket takers, again, really helped get me totally psyched out to the point where I wasn't sure if I could handle this. Um, this has the most amazing introduction to any maze I've ever seen. It split up the group, the guy's screaming at you, you don't have a name anymore, you're dying, you're a sinner, you're going to fucking hell. And then he pushes you into this box, and you are alone in this tiny little box while they talk to you through this whole thing, and I was scared crapless. I wasn't sure if the floor was dro gonna drop out on me, which of the walls was gonna change, and I almost thought, gosh, I don't know if I can make it through this maze. Um, then you go through the back door, and they do put your group back together. I want you, I want to be separated from my group just four seconds longer, Trilogy of Terror, just, just long enough to get me to really wonder if I can handle this. They touch you, they scream at you, they really make you think that you are not a good person. Everything in this maze is solid. You work through some areas that are like sinners that have done bad things. You work through, oh, the most beautiful, beautiful evil chapel ever. So perfect. Super creepy. That section wasn't scary, but it was super creepy. There's amazing scares. Again, solid, great actors. Um, there's some stuff I'm not going to give away, but darn, it was good. It was really good. Again, they had another actress to hold you up at the end, and she had some sort of something on her finger, and she ran it down your shoulder, and dude, like, shivers everywhere. And then you got another scare at the end, which again was really solid, but it was the same scare we said before. Gates of Hell was one of the best scares I've had in years, and I absolutely adored it. I will happily travel to Vegas to do this again. I really hope they bring one to Arizona, because it was great. So if you get a chance, you have to check this out. It's well worth your money. So tell me what you think, rate the video up or down, and happy Halloween, everybody.